Okay, so that was kind of bad. I took two shots. With the first shot, I forgot to turn the camera on. And with the second shot, the angle was too low, so you didn't even get to see any of the action. But we still got two hits on target. One entry here and one entry there from the 115 grain FMJs. So let's go ahead and see how far they went through anyway. Okay, I pulled out the first 13 magazines and there's no exits on the back except from the two 8mm Mauser tests. So here's the two 9mm entries, the top here and the bottom here. Let's find out how far through they went. Magazine 2, 3, Four. Stuck together pretty good now. Lots of paper pieces coming out. Five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. So here on the 8th magazine, you can see one of the projectiles stuck down in there. There it is on number 9, all smashed up. Still doing damage through. The other one seems to have stopped pretty much. That one. Up top, still putting damage through. The other one's completely stopped now. There's not even a mark from it. The Winchester up top, still putting damage here on the 12th. And on the 13th here, it put a crack. Or no, wait, this is the 12th, sorry. The last one was the 11th. And that was it, and it stopped there. These two holes are just from the eight millimeter Mauser, so that one, stopped on the 11th magazine. The first shot I took was a Winchester and the second shot was the Federal so that explains why the second shot went through less and it broke apart more. So the Federal 115 grain FMJ went through 8 while the Winchester 115 grain FMJ went through 12. And here's the remains of the projectiles. This was the Winchester here it's pretty smashed up there and that was the federal it was just all in pieces so it must have had a thinner or weaker jacket or something I'm assuming but I don't know for sure but anyways yeah so Winchester went through 12 and the federal went through about eight or nine anyway that's all thanks for watching